Hi, this is David Lippman, and I, this video is going to introduce the uh, course package for uh, Precalculus 1 and Trigonometry for the Open Course Library. Uh, this, we built this course around an open textbook we created called Precalculus and Investigation of Functions, uh, written by myself and my co-creator, Melanie Rasmussen. Uh, and the course package you'll find uh, either on wamap.org for folks in Washington State or on myopenmath.com uh, for everyone else in the world. Uh, or you can find a simplified version of it on the ANGEL site ho hosted by the opencourselibrary.org site. Uh, so let me walk you through what you'll find in the course package. Uh, so first thing you'll find is a course guide for the instructor, and so this is designed to give the instructor some idea what's here and how to use it. Uh, so you'll start with an, I uh, an overview of what's in the course package, which is basically what I'm telling you now. Uh, so there's some information about us, the course designers, and the course philosophy. And then uh, some information on how to use the shell. The first really interesting thing is the day-by-day -day guide. So based this, uh, we designed this based on a 50-hour face-to-face course, though certainly the materials could be used in a hybrid or online course. Uh, but this, ga this guide is based on a 50-hour face-to-face course. And you'll notice this is basically a pacing guide or a suggested schedule, where for each day uh, we talk about what section uh, we'd be working on, uh, where all of the worksheets and handouts that we've created fit in, uh, and where all the quizzes and exams that we've created fit into the schedule. In addition to the day-by-day -day guide, you'll find a link to the here to the full textbook, uh, information about the license, and some outcomes alignment. Next, in your in the instructor resources, uh, you'll find uh, first off the lecture notes, and so these are um, not so much detailed lecture notes as sort of an outline. Uh, so things like introduce noted notion of the function. Uh, one thing that we did do is we created uh, these examples, though, uh, that are uh, different examples than are in the book, because sometimes c making up examples that work out nice are kind of tedious. Uh, so we have worked out examples, uh, oh sorry, examples that are basically ready to use uh, in those lecture notes, uh, and we also took those and put them into PowerPoints if an instructor wanted to use them that way. Uh, also in the instructor resources uh, are the assessments. So all of our quizzes and exams are here in Word format, uh, so they can be, of course, edited and modified uh, if you uh, choose to use them as a starting point. Now, for the student, uh, the, the content is organized by chapter, and so inside each chapter uh, they'll find uh, a discussion forum where they can ask questions, and then a link to the reading, and so this is going to open up the uh, PDF form of the textbook, um, and then, well, at least it will when it loads, uh, <laughs> and so this is going to open up the PDF form of the textbook, which they could read online. Uh, alternatively, of course, they can buy printed copies of the book uh, online at lulu.com. Uh, there's also links to, you know, outcomes. Uh, there's also graded homework, uh, online homework. Uh, this is an option if you choose not to use paper homework. Uh, and this homework is, like most online homework systems, um, algorithmically generated uh, homework. And so, like in this case, uh, students are able to type in, uh, you know, expressions. The c computer will show them how it's being interpreted, uh, and then it will automatically grade that. Uh, and then they can ask for new versions, uh, and it will randomly generate a new version of that problem for them. Uh, so this is very comparable, of course, to the online homework systems uh, that are out there provided by the publishers. Uh, in addition, uh, there are the class assignments and handouts, uh, you know, worksheets and reference materials, um, as well as some paper practice problem sets. Uh, finally, there are some videos and additional open resources. So there's a set of YouTube videos that our students have identified as being related to the online homework problems. And then there's links to other open textbooks uh, out there as well. So if you teach Precalculus and Trig, I encourage you to check out our Open Course Library course package.